Welcome to Engineering Python. This is a Python programming course for engineers. In this video, I will continue the discussion of class definitions and object-oriented programming using the piggy bank example. In this example, we want to design a piggy class that has the following attributes. Balance is an instance variable. It represents how much money is in the piggy bank right now. Get balance is a method. It returns the current balance. Deposit is a method. It deposits a specific amount of money into the piggy bank. Withdraw is a method. It withdraws a specific amount of money from the piggy bank. The class definition is in piggy the pie. This file is located in the same folder as this Jupyter notebook. Let's open this file and take a look at the source code. Here we define a class named piggy. This is the initialization method. We set the starting balance to be $0. The getBalance method will just return the current balance. The deposit method has two parameters, self and amount. As we mentioned before, we only need to pass the amount argument when this method is called. We do some simple check on the amount before we actually deposit. The amount can't be less than zero. If it is, we will tell the user that the amount can't be negative. If the current balance plus the amount is greater than $100, we tell the user that there isn't enough space for this amount. If neither is the case, this is a valid amount. We just add this amount to the current balance. For the withdraw method, we also do some initial checking before we actually withdraw. The amount can't be negative. If the balance minus the withdraw amount is less than zero, then the amount is more than the balance. This is not allowed. If neither is the case, we reduce the current balance by the withdraw amount. Now let's switch back to the Jupyter Notebook. We need to import the class. This capital letter piggy is a class name. The lowercase letter piggy is a Python file name without the .py extension. We also need to import the randint function from the random library because we will use it later. Here we create a piggy object p. Show its current balance we know the initial balance is zero. This is equivalent to using the getBalance method. The result is the same. Let's generate a random integer number between zero and 100 using the randint function and give it to amount A1. This number is $34. We will deposit this amount into the piggy bank. The current balance will be changed from zero to $34. Let's generate another random amount, A2. This number is $83. When we try to deposit this amount into the piggy bank, we see not enough space for this amount. The current balance is 34. 34 plus 83 is over 100. Next, we generate another random amount, A3. This time, it's $60. When we try to withdraw this amount from the piggy bank, we see the amount is more than the balance, which is $34. Generate another random amount, A4. This time, we withdraw $24. The balance is changed from $34 to $10. OK, I talked about class definitions and object-oriented programming using the piggy bank example in this video. The course materials are available on YouTube and GitHub. You can watch the course videos in sequence. If you like this video, please subscribe and share. I'm Yong Wang. Thanks for watching.